Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Hey, yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Call Me K, back at it again with another video here on the channel. I told you guys I had two episodes of some Steelers Ultimate Team theme team series that was going to be dropping for you guys and this is the second one and like i said episode number three is coming it's on the way just gotta wait for the Najee whenever i get it if i have it i might have it by now but we'll see but hold on right quick big ben to that bad man juju corvette corvette we in the end zone touchdown I'm not gonna lie, EA kind of missed the opportunity to do something real cool with Juju. Like, they could have put some of the TikTok dances in there. I, I want to see my guy doing some Corvette, Corvette in the end zone. You feel me? Or like some TikTok trend. That would have been fun. Honestly, bro, Juju's my favorite player in the league. I love his vibe. I love that he lives his life to the fullest with no regrets and doesn't let anyone sit there and basically like decide what what he's gonna do. I love that. But we back here on defense and we get him busy hopefully because i mean he kind of just messes up with nick chubb he's got justin fields in at quarterback first time i actually burst his card and i could have had a pick right there but i went for the sack instead he's moving down the field on us with his team his receivers are way better than my corners i think he's got tyreek hill and Devontae adams so he's definitely got a great receiving core so this is definitely going to be a big task but Bud Dupree said, I'm back in Pittsburgh for at least a day. I'm going to get a sack for you, coach. And Bud Dupree got a sack for us. Fourth and 14. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to give up a first down because he found a soft pocket in the zone. But it's all good because right here, your boy put on the QJB type vibes and got a user interception. And... We didn't, we didn't just stop right there with the user pick. We got the pick, and we took it all the way to the end zone. So after ending that man's drive early and packing up another seven points for the squad, he's back on offense. And you know, I feel like I probably say it a few times a video, but the deep blue zones just watch out for it because it could be open at any point and i have this in the back of my head while i'm playing this guy knowing that anything could happen but tj watt said we ain't worried about that one right now as he goes in the backfield and gets a big sack third and 21 i called it the deep blue zones tyreek hill burns everybody for a huge play Now on the seven yard line, he has a great opportunity to get a touchdown. And I, I held triangle, but the game wouldn't give me the pick. Devontae Adams tugged me. Back on offense, and if you know anything about playing with gold cards in Ultimate Team, it is a struggle. This line isn't the best. The receivers aren't the best. And the quarterback isn't either because we don't have any elites. But that was Bruh. a pretty bogus interception for pick six. All right, so I got to be honest with you. I'm a little bit heated with the fact that you know he's kind of taking advantage of my team because he knows that he's got me outmatched. He knows he has me outmatched. But we ain't going to let that stop us today. I quit last episode after, you know, getting beat on. I can't take another L. I want a dub. I really, really do. Juju won the last play. Deontay on this one as we're getting good yardage. 38 seconds left. More than enough time to go ahead and get something here. Scramble down the pocket with Ben looking deep. Just a little off to the right. Just a little off. 22 seconds left. Third and 10. What are we going to do? Well, wide open Ebron right there for a big play. Gets us to around the 15 yard line as we are looking to get in the end zone right here. And I don't know what was going on right here, ladies and gentlemen, but look, the Madden guys was on my side. I don't know how it was completed. Now, 
that's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down, just about, and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and so. Skipping ahead towards the end of the third quarter, first end goal, and he's looking to obviously get into the end zone. Cam Sutton with a big tackle there on Tyreek Hill to go ahead and make sure he doesn't get in. He has Tyreek Hill again. This time he's at the three though. He's inching a little bit closer. But Tyson Alawalu making big plays again here today, getting him behind the line. Fourth end goal, he's going for it. What is he gonna do? Throw a goof ball interception. He's taking a page out of my book today. And that right there gets us the ball back. Tons of time for this game to be turned around. But I haven't given the ball to Najee much. And even though he's a 76, you got to feed that man. As he can make plays happen. Only his second rush of the day. But trust me, that will not be his last. Two plays in a row. Najee Harris gets a huge chunk of yardage. And like I said before, you got to feed that man, Najee Harris. And that's what we're going to continue to do right here. Finding Najee out of the backfield. And I tried to hit him with a hurdle because WWND, what would Najee do? Najee would try to hurdle. I tried to do it there. Didn't work. It's all good, though. Second and goal. Hit him with a play action. Hit up Ebron. That's a touchdown. After getting yet another tutty, we are now up comfortably by 14 points. And honestly, bro, I'm feeling real good right now because we're about to get our second dub with the theme team, it looks like. And it looks like it, it really might happen. But he is kind of dotting us up after that run he had with Justin Fields. And then he's coming down the field yet again. This time hitting Tyreek Hill with a slant over the middle. And the very, very next play... He comes on out and hits David and Joku for a touchdown. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. David Njoku. So this right here is the biggest drive of the day. You know I'm giving the ball back to the grown man, Najee Harris. He's getting big yardage, even for a 76 overall. This car is actually kind of decent when you're running well with him. And we're getting more yardage with him. That's his sixth carry for like over 80 yards right there. Later down the drive though, it was third and 11. I was forced to pass it, hit up Ebron, and we were just shy of getting a first down. Now, I believe in taking chances, and we did right here. By giving that man Najee Harris the ball one more time, and if I didn't celebrate, he would have had another touchdown on the day. Now, I knew that I had the game in hand after that, and I wanted to gloat a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and sub in the man Dewey Haskins himself and wanted to get a few extra points with a QB sneak, and we did. All right, guys, so that right there is going to be the video. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Please go ahead and check out other videos on the channel as we are dropping Madden 22 content daily, every other day, something like that. But we're dropping. Just know we are dropping content, and it is going to be dropping rapidly. The next Steelers theme team video might be a little bit out kind of late, but if not, you obviously will see it. Next time, we will have that Najee Harris and Kelvin Beecham. But I will see you all in the next one. Peace.